when P.J. Walker threw that pass to Cooper, it was third and three. So, uh, I think we've got a big oh, Seahawks oh, try. Goodness. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. I call breaking news. I call breaking news. I call breaking news. Okay, Who else is going to do it? I ain't well, going to do it. Gonna, you want to? No, nah, you got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let me make sure I get this right. We have breaking Seahawks wow. news, but let me do my news voice so Let's we can do the go. audio cut here. <clears throat> breaking Seahawks news. We have a trade 24 hours before the NFL's trade deadline. This from Ian Rappaport of the NFL Network. The Giants are finalizing a deal to send... Pro Bowl defensive lineman Leonard Williams to the Seahawks. This from NFL Network scene, Rappaport, Mike Garofolo. It gives them, obviously, financial flexibility. The Giants are getting back a 2024 second rounder and 2025 fifth rounder. A massive deal. Again, uh, breaking news. So we're going to scrap out. You guys, I so wish we could get to the National Anthem stuff. I really do. Can we eventually? Because I want to hear that. Yes. Let's get to it a bit later in the show. And instead, what we're going to do is we are going to take four minutes to react to this news. We're going to come back with this news and react to it a little bit more, uh, which gives bump sometimes to uh, some time, excuse me, to get some stats. Um, I will let you guys know, Pete Carroll, uh, we have exclusive audio from Pete Carroll this morning. We did not have news of this trade yet. So Pete Carroll will be speaking with reporters later today during Wyman and Bob. As a heads up, Pete Carroll will be speaking later today. So you'll hear some updates from him on this trade. So while we, during the break, Text our sources. Bump, your initial reaction to this massive Seahawks trade from Ian Rappaport, Seahawks acquiring defensive lineman Leonard Williams. Uh, this, might, this might feel like kind of corny, but that gave me a little chills. I'm like, <laughs> these dudes ain't playing. They're, they're trying to win right now. As you should. You are in first place in the NFC West. Why would you not make a trade to get better? Why not go for it? My goodness. I am extremely excited for this one. Um the defense is the identity of this team right now. So what do you do to the identity of your team? Man, you bolster that thing up. He's an SC guy. So, you know, Pete Carroll, love him. Some SC guys. Um, this is amazing. So now you bring over Frank Clark, you lose, you lose the channel. You bring over Frank Clark. Now you got Leonard over here, two former pro bowlers, leadership, veterans, not guys that you're trying to figure out and see what yeah. they can do. He's 29 years old. He's been in the league since uh, 2015 was a pro bowler in 16. I'm, I'm looking at this defense, and I'm saying, all right, now, I see what you're doing. Now, all right, now, that's what my grandpa used to say. All right, now, <laughs> I see you. Sometimes uh, Wally from Snoqualmie says, what's his, what's his contract? Um, we only have, like, three minutes. We're just going to do a quick reaction. Bump and I, Bump is going to look at some stats, and Bump is going to put his analyst hat on and, and take a look at some stuff. Um, I'll go ahead and get contract info. We will come back and answer a lot of the questions that you guys have about this trade. Immediate reaction is that – now, sometimes when I see a massive trade like this, I think, oh, my God, is someone hurt? Like, are you are you making this move because you have a hole to fill? Um, which, like, if they were to lose, um, like, Jaron Reed and Dre Jones, mm -hmm. I'd be like, well, of course. Like, you need to get someone. You can't go the rest of the season. This is a move, unless we hear about injuries, that tells me it's about taking a step forward and getting that much better. Right? You know, right? It's like building on what we already have. This isn't about yeah. just uh, patching holes so that we can limp our way to the playoffs. This is about, hey, we're in first place in the NFC West. I'd like to hang on to that. This is, we ain't playing with Shaw. All right, the offense is going to get healthier with this offensive line. I think Geno's going to be good enough to win some ball games. But they're looking at this defense and saying, Jamal's playing well. Reed got his first pick. Trey Brown's doing this thing. Devin Witherspoon, Quandre. I, just the names that I just mentioned right there are all guys who can play. And I think Pete Carroll sees an opportunity to get back to their old ways by being a really good and possibly dominant defense and have the offense just be good enough to win some ball games. Mm -hmm. This makes me extremely excited, man. Right. I'm hyped. If you guys are just now joining, we were in the timeline. We had some fun stuff to get to. We'll get back to it. Don't worry. But first, there was breaking news. We are just over 24 hours away from the NFL's Halloween trade deadline, and the Seahawks have made a massive move. This is not just a little addition. No, no, no. This is giving up a second second rounder and a fifth rounder to acquire Pro Bowl defensive lineman Leonard Williams from the Giants. That is being reported right now from NFL Network's Ian Rappaport and also Mike Garofolo.